Hello everybody, Timbleweebs here. Now, a lot of you, and I mean a lot of you, have been requesting uh, Gary's Mod Player model tutorials lately, so due to popular request, here I am. So before we start rigging, coding, and all that fun stuff, there is a lot to set up first. The first thing you want to do is actually find the model that you want to turn into a player model, and there's a number of ways to do that. For your first project, I recommend just downloading a ragdoll or a model off of the Gary's Mod Workshop and converting that into a player model. That way, you don't have to download a model off of a, a different game that's not related to the Source Engine and convert it to Source, which is a whole other topic that I'm not even going to discuss here. Now, the process for getting the model that you want into Blender to edit and rig it and so on is different depending on where you're downloading the file from and what the file is saved as. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to be downloading a ragdoll off of the Gary's Mod Workshop, like I said before, and uh, converting it into a player model. Now, there is a lot of uh, different programs that you need to be able to pull off um, making a Gary's Mod player model, and I have a list of them right here. You're going to need Crowbar, which is a program for decompiling and recompiling source files. Blender, for the rigging, weight painting, mesh editing, and source engine conversion. And Notepad++ to edit the QC file, which I'll explain what that is later. Uh, GMPU, for decompiling a Gary's Mod Ragdoll, or an add-on. Um, GCF Scape, for extracting a player model skeleton. I'll explain how to do that too. Source plugin for Blender for importing source model files and exporting them. So first we're going to download Blender and the Blender source plugin and install both of them. So let's get to that. You just want to type in blender.org on your search engine and it'll come up. Now when you're on the website, you want to click this download button to get the latest version. Depending on what operating system you have, you want to choose whatever fits you best for each of these installs. So I have Windows, so I'm just going to download the zip. Now that we have the Blender zip file on our desktop, we can open it up and extract the folder onto the desktop. Alright, so now you have Blender installed. You can go ahead and open up the, the folder for Blender and go ahead and click on blender.exe. Now, this is Blender, but we're not going to be doing anything with it right now because there's still a lot of other stuff we need to we need to set up. All right, the second thing you want to set up is the source plugin for Blender. That way we can actually import the Gary's Mod Ragdoll and start to rig it. Now, the link for this is in the description. So, go ahead down there and, and click on that. And it will bring you to this page. You just want to click the download button right there and save it. So now we have our source tools plugin right here. Do not do anything to the zip file. We're not going to unzip it or anything. We're just going to leave it right there on the desktop. All right. Now go to your Blender folder that we just extracted and click on blender.exe again. Now you want to go to File up here in the corner, User Preferences, Add-ons, click on Install from File and it will give you this uh, window browser and you just want to go to your desktop and click on the zip file that we have and click install from file. So now you can see that in our list of add-ons we have import export blender source tools. You just want to go ahead and check that. After you check it, click save user settings and exit out. You can quit blender now. So now we have Blender set up for importing and exporting source files, which is good. But there's still a number of other, other things that we need to set up. The next thing we're going to set up is Notepad++, Crowbar, and GCF Scape. But these are all really easy to set up, and they're really straightforward. So I'm just going to leave the links to them in the description. Go ahead, download them, and put them on your desktop. After you have these downloaded, the next thing to do is download the Gary's Mod Ragdoll that you want from the Gary's Mod Workshop and extract it so that it can be read by Blender so we can start rigging it. To do that, you're going to need a special program called the GMPU, which I'll explain what it is in a minute.
So go to the description and click on the link click on the link for the GMPU download. Now what the GMPU is is it's the Gary's Mod Publishing Utility. Basically what it lets you do is publish mods, which we're going to need when we're done making our player model, and it also lets you extract mods that are already made. For example, if you go to your Gary's Mod folder and go to add-ons, these are all your GMA files, Gary's Mod add-on. Now, normally your computer can't open these unless you're opening them with Gary's Mod, but we're going to need to crack these open so that we can get the ragdoll out of it that we want to make into a player model. That's what the GMPU is for. So go ahead and download that. So you can go ahead and go into your GMPU folder and click on double click on gmpu.jar. All right, now ignore all of this background stuff. This is just extra setting stuff. What you want to pay attention to is this little window that pops up that says GM Publish Path Program GMAD Path and Program GMAD.exe. Now basically, what this is asking you to do is telling it's asking you to tell the computer where the uh, Gary's Mod Publish EXE and the Gary's Mod Editor EXE is in the um, Gary's Mod files. So you basically want to find these, which I'll show you how to find them in a minute, and put their path in these path lines so that our program GMPU, GM Publish Utility, will work. All right, to get the paths for these two path lines, you want to go to your Gary, your Steam Apps Common folder and click on Gary's Mod. And then click on Bin. Now what you want to do is you want to click up on this little bar right here until it turns into Program Files Steam Steam Apps Common Gary's Mod Bin. And you want to copy that. Now paste that path that you just copied into each of the path lines and then click OK. Now you'll probably see a window like this pop up but probably without these since these are my mods that I've uploaded already. Now that we have the GMPU, we can go ahead and download our ragdoll and extract it with this. Find the ragdoll that you want to turn into a player model and click subscribe. In this case, I'm using Vector from Resident Evil ORC. After you subscribe to the Gary's Mod ragdoll that you want to turn into a player model, you're going to need to run Gary's Mod once so it can download it. After your Gary's Mod is done downloading the ragdoll, you can go ahead and quit it. Now, you want to go to your Steam Apps Common folder again, click on Gary's Mod, click on the second Gary's Mod folder, click Add-ons, and now you want to find the ragdoll that you just downloaded. I suggest following along and downloading the same one I got. You want to copy it from your Add-ons folder and put it into the GMPU folder. Now we're ready to extract it so that we can decompile it into a file that Blender can read. So go ahead and start the GMPU. Up here in the mode section, you want to click extract. Down here under extract, you want to click the file button and find your, um, your ragdoll add-on that you just downloaded, which in my case, I put it in the GMPU folder right here. Click open. You want to check this Out button, and then click the folder that highlights next to it. Go ahead and make a new folder for the new extracted ragdoll. And click Open. After you've set those things up, you want to click Add to Queue and Execute. Once it says done, extract, OK, and finished running queue, you can go ahead and X out the GMPU. Now if you go into our extracted ragdoll folder, we have it extracted. But unfortunately, these model files are not readable by Blender yet. So that's where Crowbar comes in. The next thing you want to do is make a folder for the new decompiled files that we're going to make with Crowbar. So I'm just going to name this RE Orc compiled. Now you want to go back to the ragdoll folder that we just extracted with GMPU and go to models, nick out, re underscore rc, copy all of the model files and paste them into the new decompiled folder that we just made on the desktop.
Now, go to crowbar and click on crowbar.exe. This will pop up. What you want to do is up here in the model file path, you want to find the model that we just put on the desktop, which in my case is on RE orc decompiled right here. Click open. And this stuff you don't really have to mess with. Um, if this is unchecked, you want to check it. And um, that's all you need to do. And then click decompile folder in all subfolders of model file. Once it says decompiling finished, that means that the model should be able to be ran in Blender now. Go ahead and start Blender. The Blender program will now pop up. What you need to do is delete the cube, go to File, Import, Source Engine, and find the model that we just decompiled. And it will be called vector underscore reference dot SMD if you're using the same um, model that I am. So go ahead and click on that and click Import. And here he is. Okay, basically it's just on a skeleton that isn't compatible with uh, Gary's mod player model. So the in the next video we're going to actually start rigging all this and getting him ready for um, getting put into Gary's mod. And for now you can just quit Blender. Now, the last thing we need to do is get the player model skeleton. Okay, now I'm going to download another, I'm going to download a player model off of the Gary's Mod Workshop so that we can use the skeleton. In this case, I'm going to use my own Star Wolf player model skeleton off the Gmod Workshop as the new skeleton for our Resident Evil guy. Go ahead and subscribe to the Star Wolf player model or what, whatever other player model you're using for the skeleton. Then run Gary's Mod once after you've downloaded it. Next, you want to repeat the last steps that we did for the for the Resident Evil guy. You want to go to your Steam Apps common folder. You want to go to Gary's Mod, second Gary's Mod folder, add-ons, and find the Star Star Wolf player model. You want to copy it and put it into the GMPU folder. Now we're going to make a folder for the extracted files of the Star Wolf player model. Go ahead and start GMPU. Choose Extract. Choose the file that you're going to extract. In this case, on my desktop, GMPU and the Star Wolf player model .gma. Check the out box, click folder, and click on the folder that we just made for the extracted files, and click open, add to queue, and execute. When that's done, you can go to the Star Wolf Player Model Extracted folder, go to the Models folder, Player, QGON3, Star Wolf, and get the model files and copy them. Now you're going to make a folder for the decompiled. Um, Star Wolf player models. So I'm just going to name this Star Wolf Decompiled. Go to crowbar, crowbar.exe. Choose the model file that we want to decompile. Open. Make sure all of this is not changed or anything and click decompile folder in all subfolders of model file. If we go to Blender, delete the cube, import our Resident Evil guy, zoom out with the scroll wheel, rotate the view with the middle mouse button, Right click twice until the skeleton is selected and hitting the delete key and clicking delete. Now we have his mesh but no skeleton. The skeleton we're going to get from the Star Wolf player model. 
So you want to go to File Again, Import, Source Engine, Desktop, StarWolf Decompiled, and StarWolf Reference Reference, SMD. Now, <laughs> this looks really weird, but the reason for that is because StarWolf is really short, and this guy's really tall. So we're going to delete the StarWolf mesh by selecting it uh, with right click and hitting the delete key and clicking delete again with the left click. Now we have the skeleton and the model. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing how to optimize the skeleton, since it's kind of short and stocky right now, uh, for this guy and rigging it to him. See you in the next video.